Okay, I'd like to respond to um, Evidence Revolution Part 1, a uh, video by CDK007, um, and I'd like to start with a prediction that is made in the video uh, as follows. The theory of evolution makes a simple prediction. Um, since mutations occur at a low rate, closely related species should use the same codons for glutamic acid simply because there has not been enough time for divergence. Um, so what I'd like to do is go take a look and see um, if this prediction holds up. Um, we're going to be looking at um, first of all, actually we're going to be looking at, at a few protein sequences, protein coding sequences in DNA. So the genes um, we're going to be looking at first um, cytochrome C oxidase 2 uh, in mitochondria. Um, and what I have here is a, um, a sequence, an amino acid sequence for uh, cytochrome C oxidase 2. Um, and the letter E indicates the um, amino acid, um, glutamic acid, and um, this one here that I have highlighted, actually, and another one too, um, down here somewhere, is um, expresses codon bias. So let's go look at the sequence. Um, here it is. Um, GAG in human is for glutamic acid in um, cytochrome C oxidase 2 in mitochondrial DNA. But in uh, chimpanzee, it's GAA. Um, and down here somewhere is uh, another one right here. So in human we have GAG, and in chimpanzee we have GAA. So let's take a look at that prediction again. Um, since mutations occur at a low rate, closely related species should use the same codons uh, for glutamic acid. And um, we have an, uh, two examples here where they do not use the same codons for glutamic acid. Um, let's keep going. Um, here's another gene, J0145.10. This is also mitochondrial DNA. Um, and there's, um, there's an example here for glutamic acid, um, which also uses a different codon. Somewhere, where is it? Right here. And you can notice um, for human, you have um, G in the third position, but for chimpanzee, you have A in the third position. Let's look at another one. Um, here we have uh, cytochrome B, mitochondrial um, DNA, and um, All we have to do, we're looking for AG uh, uh, difference, so we have GA. Uh, so you just look through and see which ones are for glutamic acid and um, which ones aren't, because some of these substitutions obviously are not glutamic acid. 
um, but some of them are. You also you also notice how many substitutions there are. There's quite a few, actually. Um, all these white areas indicate a substitution, um, but uh, if there's not enough time for divergence, then uh, how, how come there's so many? How, how come there's so many mutations? How, how come there's so many? Here it is. Here we go. GAA in human and GAG in chimpanzee. Let's look at another one. Here's the gene um, J0 1415.29 um, NADH and we're going to look through this one as well and see if we can find glutamic acid with uh, codon bias and um, let's see we're looking 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 and there we go there it is GAG is that right actually Yep, that's it. GAG in uh, human. G GAA in chimpanzee. And just in case you were wondering, um, I really um, looked a lot at um, mitochondrial DNA. I also looked at uh, Y chromosome. Um, Here's one in uh, chromosome 16. Uh, I, have a, I have it already marked here. So you have glutamic acid in human, uh, GAA, but in chimpanzee is GAG. And there are so many more examples. Um, but it's quite a bit to look at. So I'm going to leave it off for there. Um, basically what we have is a prediction that doesn't hold up. Um, and the reason for that is because um, evolution doesn't hold up. Uh, the evidence here indicates that humans and chimpanzees do not have a common ancestor. Thank you.